Your Champion electronic fuel injection generator is equipped with a fault sensor. If there's a problem with the EFI system, a fault indicator code will flash on the IntelliGauge. To resolve this issue, turn off the generator and let it cool. Disconnect the battery, check the chart in your operator's manual to locate the fault code, and follow the directions accordingly. Always begin by checking the harness connection at the base of the throttle body, as this connection can come loose and set off the fault indicator. Fault Code 1 First, check the harness connection, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new oxygen sensor. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our oxygen sensor replacement video. Fault Code 2 You will need to replace the throttle body. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our throttle body replacement video. Fault Code 3 Check the harness connection to the temperature sensor, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new temperature sensor. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our temperature sensor replacement video. Fault Code 4 Charge the battery. Remove the battery and plug it into the included battery charger. Fault Code 5 First, discharge the battery. The simplest way to do this is by moving the engine switch to the run position for a few days, which will put a load on the battery. If time is more sensitive, call Champion Technical Support. Fault Code 6 First, let the engine cool. Check the oil level and add oil if needed. Then, make sure you don't overload the generator, which will cause the engine to overheat. Fault Code 7 First, let the engine cool. Check the oil level and add the appropriate amount of clean engine oil. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to replace the oil sensor. Call Champion Technical Support. Fault Code 8 Check the harness connection to the fuel injector, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new fuel injector. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our fuel injector replacement video. Fault Code 9 Check the harness connection to the fuel pump, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new fuel pump. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our fuel pump replacement video. Fault Code 10 First, check the boot on the spark plug. Then, check the harness connection to the ignition coil, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new ignition coil. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our ignition coil replacement video. Fault Code 11 Check the harness connection to the ignition coil, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new ignition coil. Call Champion Technical Support and follow the steps in our ignition coil replacement video. Fault Code 12 First, turn the generator off. Then disconnect the battery and reconnect it. Fault code 13. First, check the harness connection on the injector and fuel pump. Then turn the engine switch to the run position and listen carefully for the pump to run for approximately three seconds. This means there is power to the pump. If that doesn't solve the issue, call Champion Technical Support. Fault code 14. First, check the harness connection, as it may have come loose. If that doesn't solve the issue, you may need to install a new current transformer. Call Champion Technical Support. Fault Code 15 Remove the load from the generator and let it cool down before restarting the unit and adding a load to it. Fault Code 16 You will need to change the AVR. Call Champion Technical Support. Fault Code 17 Reduce the load on your generator and read the Do Not Overload section in the manual to make sure you don't overwork your engine. For more help guides and information on EFI fault codes, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.